Hey everyone, I just got back from the movie theaters to see Avatar The Way of Water, and this is going to be my review. I'm going to start off with the non-spoiler portion, and then move on to the spoiler portion. I will let you know when each of those happen. So, let's get into non-spoiler review. I really like this movie. I think it is very good. It's emotional, and I think you should see for yourself. Now on to the spoiler review. Like I said before, I really enjoyed this movie. I'm still kind of mulling some of it over, but I wanted to get my thoughts down on video quickly. There were so many great themes in this movie that I really, really liked. There's the obvious colonizer versus indigenous peoples storyline that is always very interesting, but also very tragic and sad and just makes me reflect on the past and the errors of our ways in the past and how we are continuing to do such horrible things today in other ways. So my heart is definitely heavy after seeing that movie. Just all forms of colonization I'm just sick of and would like to abolish and get rid of, honestly. There's also strong themes of family. It's always room for family and what that means, and how you protect your family, and how there might be consequences to that as well. Jake just wants to protect his family, but he endangers other people, parts of his extended community family, in trying to do that. And I think that stems from his background, being a human, and what we can pretty well assume is a western style human, an individualist who cares less about the community around him, more about himself and maybe his family. But I liked how in the end he decided that with some people you just have to stand and fight. I also noticed strong themes of immigration and how that's different, differently felt from parents and children who immigrate. Just how the kids were able to quickly adapt and then they taught their parents in the end to save their lives how to fully become a part of that tribe. Yeah, I definitely shed a few tears at the brother. I don't remember the name. I didn't get the name super well in this, but maybe when I see it a second time. I definitely am seeing it again. Would I have on my own? Probably not, although I think it would deserve it. But I'm poor, so what can you do? Sorry, James. The scenery was beautiful. The music was beautiful. It was pretty good acting, specifically from Zoe Saldana. She's just... She wasn't in the movie enough for my taste, but when she was, just great. And for the most part, her parts were more gut-wrenching than anything. So I saw it in 3D with, a, I guess, a high frame rate. I don't really know how it worked, but it definitely felt like a higher frame rate than normal. And I would suggest seeing it like a normal movie, whatever that is. The 24 frames per second movies with no glasses. Personally, I think it would have been a little better that way. Maybe after you've seen it once, go see it again in 3D. But personally, it kind of took me out of it. Kind of felt like a video game cutscene the entire time. I need to still think about Spider's actions in this movie. How much he helped his father in the beginning, throughout the middle, and then saving him at the end. Saving him at the end I understand a little bit more just because his dad saved his life, so it's kind of a life for a life. I just hope that he told Jake about him, that he's still alive, because he's certainly going to be coming after him. But it just felt like he was maybe helping a little too much. Maybe he felt like if he could stay with them and gain their trust a little bit, he could help Jake and family a little bit later in the movie. Through the whole last act, I was wondering, where, where are the water people? Why aren't they helping? Like, they helped with some of the battle, but then they kind of dipped, literally. Jake and his family could have used the help of some strong swimmers, which they all are, and I just didn't know where they were. Maybe there's an explanation for that, but I don't know. On my scale from 1 to 10, I'd probably give this an 8.5. Really good movie. I wouldn't put it in my top 10 movies, but I would definitely see it again. I really, really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. Like I do at the end of all videos that I think less people will watch, comment a movie down in the comments, and it might be the next movie I do. Kind of depends on if the movie would perform well on the channel. If it would, then it'll be the next movie I do. If not, it'll be in the running 
near the top of the list for things that I get to sooner rather than later. So let me know. I guess all that there's left to say is, bye.